cars. If you remember back last race at Montreal, they wrecked hard on that last lap with Steckley actually getting upside down as we hit the home hardware halfway update. And, uh, of course, Don Thompson Jr. is your leader. The fastest lap put in by DJ Kennington. Well, lap 54, that was obviously after Whitey put that new carburetor on there and got the thing back all in the mail, but it's too little too late. Up front, man, this is great to see Don Thompson Jr. having a championship run. Yeah, but Steckley is looking hard underneath. Here is DJ Kennington's teammate, the prime champ, uh, number 40, Dodge Adventure. Joey Hansen's having a great run here tonight. He's keeping his nose clean for the most part, and he's fighting for positions and gaining some very, very valuable experience. Well, for sure, what a place to cut your teeth on a short track. Primarily as a road racer before he come here, so, but the big thing about that experience on a road course to this is drop it in nice and soft and get off the corner hard. Oh, oh Mixie gets dumped by the 12. Trouble in turn number three. Gaunt and Kerry Mix. The 12 and the 02 get together, and Mix goes around out of second position. Caution flag is obviously out as the 02 VDI 4 Fusion comes to a rest to the inside of four. Let's have another look. Wow, Gaunt just dumps him going into turn three. This, I have no idea. I didn't see them two get together earlier or not, but obviously something happened. So a good time for pit stops for your leaders. Don Thompson Jr. is in for left side tires. And the 22 of Scott Steckley will get new right side good years as well. John Gunn's a new leader. And with this break, we'll now throw it to the Wheelan Insider Safety Feature. NASCAR is always looking for new ideas and new parts to improve the safety of these race cars. Here's one that's worked. They're called wheel tethers. Underneath, their top is attached to the load bolt along the frame. The other end of this wheel tether is attached to the spindle. The idea is to keep the entire assembly underneath the car if there's a hard impact. Keeping these potentially red-hot parts from becoming a projectile makes for much safer racing. Wow, what a great innovation. I know they've been using that stuff down south for a year or so, but you know what? These short tracks are very important to keep our drivers and our spectators safe. Yeah, especially in a place like Barry Speedway where the fans are so close to the action as we go back to speed here in the tour from Electric Supply 300, and we've got action right off the hop. It's gone, and Dean Whitlock get together going down to the one. Wow, you know, Johnny Gaunt having a pretty good hometown outing. He got away with fiberglass flying. He got away with spinning the car. And I'll tell you what, this could be... Oh, oh. Whitlock returns the favor. And Whitlock goes for a oh, triple four. Here we go. We got Mixie around backwards again. Don Thompson stopped on the front stretch right there. We got cars and carnage all over the place. We'll have to wait and see how this turns out. And you saw Ron Boshock Jr. also get together with the 12th car of John Gaunt. Some body damage to the Mopar 60. There you can see the hood crumble. We'll take another look at this. Wow, Dave Whitlock just trying to get to the bottom of the three, into the back of the 39, and into the 12. Oh, there's stuff happening all over the place. That's a hard hit. Ron Beauchamp thought he was clear and tried to get around the 12 of John Gunn, but got into him with a pretty, pretty hard lick, and then crumbles up the front of that Mopar number 60. Look at the debris down at one and two. Well, Dave, the driver's got to tiptoe through here very cautiously. There's the 23, Lapsovich, not having a great outing here at Barry, but the driver's got to tip through all that debris. You do not want a flat tire going back to green. We'll be back with more exciting action from Barry right after this. Snap-on Dodge leads the Torbrum Electric Supply 300 here at Barry Speedway. It's the 11th race of the 2009 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series exclusively here on TSN. And we're back to green. Wow, Jason was hard on the throttle off of turn four. He got a great jump. He caught the 22 of Scott Steckley sound asleep. And we should mention that the number nine of Mark Dilley got the free pass during that last caution period. He's back on the lead lap. But look at the action behind the leaders. Well, all kinds of racing front to back in this joint. I'll tell you what, it's super exciting. 113 laps to go, Dave. We haven't seen the end of the action yet. Well, it's good to see some new faces up towards the front of the field as well. That snap-on dodge of Jason Hathaway. Hathaway picking up his first win of his NASCAR Committee Entire Series career in the final event of last season. Looking for win number two on his resume here at Barry Speedway. 
And he seems to have a pretty strong mount underneath him. Well, Jason would like to get one all the way to the finish. It was a rain shortened race last year, so he's got a win with an asterisk. But tonight, he's got that thing hooked up, and he's looking for the legal beagle win. But there's still some pretty stout cars in behind, including this one, the home hardware Chevy of Don Thompson Jr. He's got new left side tires, and that car's back on a charge heading to the front. Well, I was going to tell you, watch his hands. This car is on a rail. He's not turning that wheel back to the right at all, and you don't see him overturning. So what I'm talking about, it's not too tight, it's not too loose. Don Thompson Jr. nursing them tires, looking for a win. Battle for seventh spot between this car, the 0-2 of Kerry Mix, and the 40, the rookie of Joey Hansen. That, that car is working well, but he's been around backwards twice tonight. A little hard on the skins, but I'll tell you what, if anybody can muscle a car to the front, it's Kerry Mix. Look at the battle scars on that 12 car, John Gunn. He's been in it on both ends tonight, and that car's still inside the top 10. Gunn having a good old-fashioned berry run. Well, the thing looks like a Saturday night limited late model. It's been hit, it's been hit, it's done the hit, and it's still motoring. Now a battle for the lead. Scott Steckley gets together with a three car. Jason Hathaway, Dexter, Stacy in the 55s to the inside. He's many laps down trying to get out of the way, but Steckley will take over the lead. Well, Steckley, normally a pretty conservative race car driver, not sticking his neck out too awful far, uses the lap car and just drives it in there, catches the three, three wide, and bang, he's the new leader. Hathaway drops down into second. Brad Graham up to third as Don Thompson Jr. drops into fourth position. One driver is having a night to forget the 21 of Jason White. Todd standing by in that pit. You see the steam pouring out of the 21 AEW car. Jason White remains behind the wheel. They're trying to get the cap off and get water in it, cool it down, and then send it back out. Possibly a result of that incident with the 60? Well, for sure. You know, we got a little bit of fiberglass flapping. Probably the air box closed in a little bit and overheated the motor. But, you know, taking a rat top off is very, very dangerous. We used to build pressure caps into them. So what you do is just hook up the water like an airline, put the pressure to it, and, and force the water back into it. And you saw the position third place change hands between the four of Don Thompson Jr. As Thompson once again, without a mark on that car, he's head to the front. And that car, again, I, I can't say it enough, it looks to be quite possibly the fastest car on the track at this point in time. Well, Dave, it's great to see Don Thompson Jr. having a good run. You were with me at Mossport when we talked to him, and he was a little bit frustrated that he was having a bad year. I remember what I told him? Keep his chin up. The old guys know how to get the job done. Don Thompson Jr. getting the job done. Well, look back to last race. His Fitzpatrick Motorsports teammate, J.R. Fitzpatrick picked up the win in Montreal. Now Don Thompson Jr. is like, wait a second. If the kid can do it, I can still do it. And he gets into the three car of Hathaway. But the 95 of Simone was already up into the turn three wall. There's Hathaway looking to get pointed in the right direction. Obviously, the caution is out. And we'll be back here at Barry as cars go around backwards. But there's your leader, the 22.